Hello and welcome to this, the first episode of the Questionable Car Club. And the reason why I came up with that name is because I have made, like I'm sure some of you have, some terrible, very questionable decisions when it comes to car purchases. The only difference is I never stopped and I'm still making them now. And one of these purchases is the car I'm sitting in today, this 2002 EP3 Civic Type R. Now, some of you who may have come over from Castle, my other channel, will know that I did a video on this car. On, well, it was the newer one, but still this engine. And I said, off the top of my head, it was one of the most reliable cars that I could think of. Don't let this one fool you. This is definitely the exception and not the rule. I have never known a car have an engine knock, uh, an EP3, have an engine knock like this. Have a listen. This is a car that identifies as a TDI. Yeah, that is quite frankly fucking disgusting. So we are going to drive it around until it dies. Please like and subscribe to the channel because it's new. And if you don't, um, I'll just give up and it'll be very sad. Thank you very much. And um, let's bring on the civic death. The rules are as follows. I can drive this car around the industrial estate it's parked on but no further. The reason for this is because if it dies, I'm on my own and I am gonna to have to push it back from wherever it dies. So industrial estate, yes. Motorway, no. Uh, let's go and kill this fucking thing. And we're off. I've set a stopwatch on my phone. It sounds terrible. I don't know if you can hear that on the mic, but it sounds like um, the whole engine is made of grit and stones. It really is awful. And the brakes in this are no good either. I need to get those looked at. But ha see if you can hear this. Something is very, very broken. I've been driving this around now for three minutes and 22 seconds. Still sounds bad, but the engine has warmed up. I think probably enough now for me to engage VTEC, bro. Hopefully I don't fly through the wall off the crack den at the end of the road, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, unfortunately I had an audio problem just as it died, but hopefully I've got it. But this is what it sounds like now. Oh, no, it's still alive. Okay, right. I'm gonna reverse it back because it is gonna die any second now. How long did it make it? Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. I'm allowed to do this by the way, I'm on private land. Five minutes and nine seconds. Oh, I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit a wall. Right, oh, that engine, uh, that oil light. Oh my God, I don't wanna to have to push this back there. This is the place where I hoped it wouldn't die. One more push on VTEC and this is gonna die permanently. So I am gonna get this ready. I'm gonna turn it off and get this ready for its, no I'm not, I'm gonna keep it going. It needs to die, turning it off won't help it die. I think this has got one more VTEC left in it until it goes. That red oil light is flickering and it is not happy with me at all. So before we get to that point, I'm gonna to switch to my phone so that hopefully we can film it as it does. Right, one final blast, let's go. Oh. Oh it's still alive. Okay, fine. It's not gonna be alive much longer. I'm, I'm gonna go for, uh, I'm going for plan B. One thing I have learned though, is that revving is good for the engine. So I will not be doing that. that, that won't be happening anymore. Okay guys, we're going for one final run before I start putting stuff in the engine, but I don't think that this has got much left in it at all. I mean, that light is on pretty much all the time now. So apart from, it's still from revving, but okay, let's go. Oh, the noise, horrific, absolutely terrible. Oh yes, this, this hasn't got long. 
get the priest, say the last rites. The civic is gonna die. I don't know how it's still going. I really don't. Okay. I'm gonna go to plan B. Right, well, the car wasn't dying quickly enough for my liking, so I'm feeding it some concrete. See how it gets on with that. In it goes. That was, of course, only a little bit of concrete, but concrete nonetheless, so spread that around a little bit. Okay, so I've just poured some concrete into the car and so far, nothing. The red oil light is constantly on now, which was more than it was before, and it still sounds really terrible, but I don't think it was enough. I may have to go to plan C, which is pour even more concrete in the engine eventually this thing might die but so far it's got to be testament to this high pass absolutely bulletproof engine that it still won't die even when it's trying to die maybe this engine is immortal oh okay dead <laughs> maybe not so immortal after all check engine light came on and it went i might actually uh plug that in and see what <laughs> see what code it gives up let's see if it starts no i did it i killed the engine it put up a good fight but ultimately it was no match for a little bit of concrete and 3,000 revs. So next stop is of course to put the new engine in and give this car a new lease of life. But anyway, now I feel is a really good time for me to talk to you about what I want the ethos of this channel to be. So although it's questionable car club because the decisions that I make are questionable, what I would also like to be seen somewhat as is the shitbox savior. There are too many lifeless, boring, soul-sucking Teslas in the world for people to still have cars sitting in their garages and on their driveways. So where possible, I like to rescue those and some of those have been my questionable purchases and you'll see them in later videos. So come along for the ride and sit down and you get to relax while I take all of the hell of bringing these terrible old cars back on the road. But that is what life is about. It's not about buying a 2022 VW Tiger and sitting in a traffic jam. It's about the hell of trying to find parts for cars that no one cares about anymore. So please subscribe to the channel and I really look forward to having you along for the ride. Take care and join me next time when... Do you know, I don't know. I don't know what's coming next. I've got an Audi A2 at the moment. Why anyone would want to buy one of those is beyond me. So I will probably do something to do with the Audi A2. Until then, take care, ta-ta, and farewell.